Thank you for coming back to our channel, beloved viewers. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. With the introduction of the Social Security Rise last month in December, our content today is especially rich in noteworthy changes. On December 29th, people who were receiving Supplemental Security Income, SSI, began receiving payments. Interestingly though, early findings from recent surveys suggest that people may not be quite satisfied with the rise not living up to public expectations. Before we dive right into today's video though, I would really appreciate your help if you could give it a thumbs up and, if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel. Your participation is essential to our communities thriving on this platform. Let's now explore the nuances of the most recent events involving Donald Trump. The topic of the hour is the former president's successful removal from the ballots for the 2024 presidential contests in Colorado and Maine. This controversial ruling, which declares Trump unfit for the upcoming presidential contest, is based on the insurrection clause of the 14th Amendment. Trump's lawyer Alina Haba expressed the former president's worry that the justices of the Supreme Court might not rule in a way that is resolutely supportive of Trump because they may have prejudices against him. Haba stated in a Fox News interview that he must address that issue in public rather than in secret. His worries are legitimate. This fear arises from a perceived unwillingness on the part of conservative justices to openly support Trump, even in cases where the law may support him. The stakes are high because a Supreme Court decision against Trump may start a domino effect that would make other states follow suit and jeopardize his chances of winning the presidency in 2024. Turning the focus, we see a fascinating twist in the dynamic field of political polling. According to recent polls, Nikki Haley might surpass Trump in a fictitious matchup with Joe Biden. Trump and Biden continue to lead by an average of 2.2 points, but Nikki Haley has a clear lead of 3.3 points. Still, with an astounding 51.7 points, Trump maintains his strong lead in the Republican presidential primary surveys. Shifting our attention to still another crucial point, we concentrate on the Social Security rise. For SSI users, the first payment round, which included a 3.2% increase, was distributed on December 29th. This seemingly significant adjustment is viewed with skepticism, though, as polling data indicates that retirees feel it insufficient to deal with the rising expenses of several demands. Costs in categories including auto insurance, tickets to games, and auto repair have increased significantly, overshadowing the apparent strength of the cost of living adjustment. The conversation broadens to include the difficulties faced by retirees, especially those living in rental properties, as the cost of rent keeps rising faster than the benefits offered. It prompts viewers to consider whether the 3.2% cost of living increase truly meets beneficiaries' financial needs in light of skyrocketing living expenses, raising important questions about its effectiveness. Finally, we would like to express our sincere desire for you to provide your insightful opinions and insights on the complex topics we have discussed today. There are many issues to analyze, ranging from the complex political concerns surrounding Trump's candidacy to the complex economic difficulties encountered by retirees who depend on Social Security. Stay involved, and let's work to foster an intelligent and considerate conversation about these important issues. I appreciate you being a member of our community, and I look forward to hearing more about your viewpoints in the comments section below. We appreciate you coming here today. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up if you think it was insightful or thought-provoking. Please consider subscribing to our channel for more videos like this. We appreciate your help so much. Until the next video, see ya!